Hey YouTube, welcome to your fourth intermediate JavaScript video. My name is Mehul and in this video we're gonna discuss something really interesting, really cool in JavaScript which is introduced, which is basically use strict, right? So it was brought in in ES5, but uh, it's it basically allows you as a developer to not write code which might produce unnecessary bugs. Right? It does not really fix all the nasty problems JavaScript has, which people usually claim uh, complain about. But you know, it does the job and could be used as a very good interview kind of question. Right? So we're gonna get into this, what you strict is and what it does. But before actually starting this video, I would really, really recommend you if you haven't watched previous intermediate videos, please go ahead and watch them, especially the mastering this one and you know arrow functions versus normal functions because I, we would be again using a lot of content from that, those videos and if you want to fully understand this given that you do not really know that from your previous experience and stuff then please go ahead and watch that okay let's just begin and obviously you will find the links in the description so yeah so what ustrict basically is is uh, you just write ustrict that's it yeah so once you write this, your JavaScript code is running inside strict mode, right? And again, use strict could be global, first of all, or use strict could be inside a function, right? So your only your function, my function. We're gonna discuss what this use strict does, but for now, what we have discussed is this is non-strict code execution environment, right? This is also non-strict code execution environment, but whatever executes here, this is strictly executed. So what does this actually mean? What does this actually mean? Well, so we took a look at a couple of things inside of this tutorial. The first one is, I told you that whenever you call a function like my function without anything, that this, that this right here refers to the global scope. Well, I lied. Sorry about that. So, another thing, I told you that uh, if you miss, you know, a var here, you know, var, if you just do something like this, is something, then it is created on the global scope. I lied about that too, right? So, why did I lie about that? Because again, we were not using use trick there. Now, if you're generally confused at this point, let me help you here. What ustrict does, first of all, we're gonna write ustrict. What ustrict does is it prevents conversion of this. We're gonna get to that, what it means. And basically, you know, I can cover my second point as well in this one only that it does not, uh, or yeah, we can go ahead and do that. Prevents overwriting of read only global values all right so what does th this mean first of all let us see so if i do console log of this and if i run my function here and if i run node script.js you see we get the global object fair enough now the thing with javascript is this right here does not refer to the global object what happens with JavaScript is if I call this function, when I call this function, you see, I call it with no object, nothing specified. So technically, I'm not really calling it even with like global or something. That, it, that this of this refers to the global object. I'm not calling it like this. I'm just calling it without anything. So technically, this right here should refer to null because there's nothing here, right? So what happens? When I do a use strict of this function and I run this, you see we get an undefined instead of you know the global object we got. Why is that? Well, let's take a deeper look into it. I call this function, right? In my this tutorial, I told you if I do an object dot function where object is a you know object, then the this value of that function would refer to this particular object through which I called it, through which I invoked that function, right? But in our global scope, I I do not really call it with anything. So that this refers to undefined. With JavaScript, 
if you're not in strict mode, what happens is if if you're this, if you're this is null or undefined, it is converted into global. This is something JavaScript handles under the hood, right? So what happens is when I call this function, that this right here inside this function is null, is basically undefined, right? So what JavaScript does is it converts this to global. On the browsers, this would refer to window, right? Second thing, what we can do is basically, though although I have not covered this thing, but uh, I will still just go ahead and make use of it. I'll just let you know. We can, if I have a function with function name, let's say my function, I can specify a particular value of this to be used in this function. If I call this function with like my function dot call, and you know, um, anything null, let's say. So what happens with this is, uh, not null. Let's just say I do a, you know, empty object. Hit save. If I run this, you see I get an empty object as this. So what happens is I can use this dot call to specify the value of this which I want to use in this function. So whatever now would. Uh, for example, if I have, let's say, an object with the, let's say, x100, and if I do my function dot call object. So what I'm essentially doing is I'm running this function as if this function was located inside this object. Why does this happen? Because I call this object, call this function with this object, which takes the value of this as the, of this, the argument passed, right? So this right now refers to this particular object. So if I do this dot x is 200, and if I console dot log my object dot x later on, we can just comment this out. What you're gonna see, we get 200 here instead of 100. So you see, we modified the object inside this function. So why did I do that? Just to, you know, introduce you to the call method. Now what happens if I do a console log? Of this with null. So what I'm trying to say here is hey, call my function with the value of this being null. Hit save, node, oh, well, JavaScript completely ignored us and assigned the value of this to be this whole object, right? If I call this with an empty object, well, you know, it works fine. If I call it with undefined, well, Again, JavaScript did not obey us and assigned this value to the global scope. So what's at play? Well, you know, if your this is null or undefined, it refers to the global scope, right? So the next thing is that if you use use strict here, what happens now is that once you have once you are inside a strict mode, JavaScript does not convert the value of whatever you have passed into you know its set of rules it has we're going to discuss a couple of more but you get the idea that this value which you pass right here is directly as it is without modify without modification is used inside this my function so if i run it now you see i get undefined if i run it with null you see i get null so javascript does not hinder with the this value why this is important well okay um this would be going a little bit advanced but i just want to touch on this so let's see what happens if i do call it with a string hit save you see we get a string which is what exactly what we have as the this value but if i remove the use strict mode hey we actually got an object so what's happening here? You see in JavaScript, if if your this value, so two rules, if your this is null or undefined, it is converted to global by JavaScript. If your this value, this value is primitive, it is actually converted to its object type. Look how beautiful this is. Once you understand this, it makes all sense how this is all working. So what's happening here? Well, you see 
that if you're not using strict mode, these two rules apply. The first one, if your this is null or undefined, it is converted to global. Second one, if your this value is primitive, that is string or number in this case, obviously we have more primitive types, but you know, it is converted to object type of that. So this is the reason you're able to do this dot length to string and you know you get six because length property actually exists on this string type. If I convert this to use strict mode, what you're gonna see is uh, okay, this still works because you know this is then again converted to object and you get the length property, but we actually get the string back. The this dot length actually works because under the hood, what you're doing right now is calling string dot length here. Right, which again works under the hood in JavaScript to convert this into an object to get its length property. But what I want to do, what I want to tell you here is you cannot pretty much do like you can even do, but you have to do like this dot to string to actually get the string out of itself. Right? So what could be a good interview question is that if I return this. And if I say f, this is f1 and function f2, f2 is return this, right? And if I do like my function dot call one, my or f1 dot call one is f2 dot call one. Is this true? Well, obviously it is false because one one thing refers to an object another thing refers to a string so it clearly fails right so use strict does that in that context the other thing i wanted to talk about is regarding the global variable generation only so we saw in the this tutorial that for example if you're creating my variable here is 100 and by mistake if you left out this var what would happen now is let's say if i create an uh, if i call this function then this my variable actually gets registered on the global scope, right? You see, it's, it works, right? But if you use use strict here, what you're gonna see is basically that it does not allow you to use variables before they are initialized, it, before they are defined, right? And how do you define a variable? Well, you use var or you use let, right? Or you use directly this, right? Which refers to the which refers to a particular object. Again. This makes sense because if you have something like this, and now let's say you're creating an object, but you miss the new keyword. So this now, because because you miss the new keyword, this refers to undefined. Remember, this does not take um, the global object, so it refers to undefined. And then this code would again, this this piece of code would again fail, right? But once you write new here, which you should have, then it executes. If you don't use use strict, then you have to manually like check that if this function, if the object which is created is an instance of, you know, your function's constructor, then it's okay. Otherwise, you have to throw, right? So you have to do something like that. So I think uh, use strict is kind of something um, good in JavaScript, but uh, this is not something the details had told you. These are not details you would really need to use in your everyday JS code, <clears throat> but it's always good to know how things are working under the hood. And I hope this tutorial benefited you. In the next one, we're gonna cover something more interesting, but uh, <clears throat> for now, you can just consider using uStrict almost all the times. Just make sure to raise uStrict at the top of your every JS file, and you should be good to go. But after that, if you make any you know silly mistake, uStrict is there there to protect you so i think that's all for this video and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe leave a like and press the bell icon thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next video